Hello, Marley May. It's your Nanny Deb. I'm going to tell you another story. But first, I have to tell you we had a very busy day today. We went to the shops and we bought lots of things and Nanny Deb made a litter bin. And you press the button and watch. <gasps> That's pretty special, huh? Okay, I made it all by myself. Today, I have your cousin Molly. It's one of her favourite stories, and it's called Good Morning Possum. This one is a treat. It's all about Australian animals. Can you see Possum? She's up in the tree. I have to find out what she got. Early one morning near Ironbark Creek, Blossom the Possum had nothing to eat. So high in a tree and all on her own, she picked a red plum and took it back home. Oh, you see, she's in her house. That is a big plum. Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Tree Mouse was hopping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat-a-tat-tap, -tap, and a squeal of delight. Mouse asked politely, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite, and if you agree, not to eat all of it, please save some for me. You see the little mouse? He was very cute. <gasps> oh, he's got a big bite, hasn't he? But Mouse didn't listen. He went pit patter skip and took a big bite with a nip nipple nip. Sorry. <laughs> Molly will understand. With a nip nibble nip. <laughs> nip nibble nip. Possum had blossom had none. Not one little bit. Oh. She looks very sad, doesn't she? That was a bit mean, wasn't it? Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Galal was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat-a-tat-tap -tap and a squeal of delight, Galal asked politely, May I have a bite? They're great birds. They're funny. They're very funny. Yes, just a wee bite. And if you agree not to eat it all, please save some for me. She looks a little bit worried, doesn't she? Mm. But Galar didn't listen. She went squawk, twitter, twoo, and took a big bite with a peck, peck, chew. Peck, peck, chew, nip, nibble, nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Oh, dear. Mm, she's looking a little bit nervous and worried, isn't she? Out on the branch came a rum rumble tum. Lizard was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a rat-a-tat-tap -tap and a squeal of delight, Lizard asked politely, May I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite, and if you agree not to eat it all, please save some for me. Mm. I wonder what he'll do. Oh, but Lizard didn't listen. He went step, shuffle, stomp and took a big bite with a gulp, gobble, chomp. Gulp, gobble, chomp, peck, peck, chew, nip, nibble, nip. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Oh, she's looking very hungry. I like the flower in her hair. Mm. With a rat, with a rat-a-tat-tap -tap and a squeal of delight, Bat asked politely, may I have a bite? Yes, just a wee bite and if you agree not to eat it all, please save some for me. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, man, look at those big wings. But Bat didn't listen. He went screech, screech, crunch, and took a big bite with a gnaw, munch, munch. Gnaw, munch, munch, gulp, gobble, chomp, peck, peck, chew, nip, nibble, nip, blossom head, none, not one little bit. Oh dear. He looks a bit scary, that bat, doesn't he? We have bats near our house. Your daddy and mummy came to visit them. They're not there at the moment because they've gone on a holiday to find some more food, but they'll be back soon. Ooh. Down on the ground came a rum rumble tum. Dingo was hoping to share Blossom's plum. With a snap bellow bark and a sneer of delight, Dingo asked slyly, may I have a bite? Hmm. Do you think dingoes eat plums? I'm not sure. Blossom didn't answer. She knew he had plans to eat her for breakfast if given the chance. Licking his lips, he growled and he groaned, but Dingo couldn't reach, so he whimpered back home. That was lucky. She's hiding. Hmm. Safe in the tree, they pecked and they crunched. They nibbled, they gnawed, they chomped and they munched. They gobbled, they chewed till there was no more. Not a taste, not a trace. They'd eaten it all. Blossom had none, not one little bit. Oh dear. Oh, this could be a nice surprise. Later that morning near Ironbark Creek, Blossom the possum had still nothing to eat. When out on the branch, she heard a scritch, scritch, scratch. Grandma had arrived with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. She brought a big basket of juicy red plums from high in the tree. Came a yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. That is a big basket of plums, isn't it? Oh, she, oh, you can see a spider. Is that a spider there? Your mummy saw a big spider when she came to visit us. Hmm. So, taking a bite and sharing the treats, Blossom the possum at last got to eat. I like that. There's one, two, three. Four. Four big plums. And there they are. There's her friends. Can we find them? There's Blossom. There's her friend the Galah. There's the bat hiding in the tree. There's the lizard on the ground. And the little mouse. They're very cute. I like that story. And that was called Good Morning Possum. I think we'll have to tell your cousin Molly what a beautiful story that was. She'll be thrilled to bits that you like it as well. Okay, well you have a fun day today or we could read this at night and then you'll have a good sleep. Okay, Molly, Ma Marley, Molly, sorry, gosh, Marley May. This is your nanny Deb saying goodbye. I love you enormously. Mwah.